my most amazing artists. And how are you today? Today will be a great day. Today, we will add to our Creepy Carrots song. First, we will review the song and learn a new part. Then, Miss Collier will show you how to create your own movement piece for the song. Let's create. Love, Miss Collier. Let's review. Last week, we read the story Creepy Carrots. If you haven't read this story yet with me, you should go back to last week's video and watch that one first. So today, we're going to take that song that we learned last week and we're going to add to it. But first, do you remember the song? Let's find out. song. Did you just sing it this time or did you move with me? You just sang? Cool. This time while I play, will you do your creepy, twisty movements? Let's try it again. Let's learn a new part. Great job. So we remember our song from last week, but now we're going to take that song and we're going to make it longer. I played this song using some other instruments and I made a recording of it. Let's listen and I want you to count how many times you hear the song that we know. Let's listen together. did you hear the song that we learned last week in this new longer song? Let's double check and see if you're right. Let's listen again, but this time sing our song when it happens in the music. In the dark
that's right, we sang it three times. How many times did we sing it at the beginning? Two. What happened in the middle? Something new. And how many times did we sing it at the end? One. Nice listening. Let's listen one more time, but this time let's try to sing and move during the part we know and listen again to that new part so we can try to learn it and add some movement in a minute. Get ready to move. All right, here we go in three, two, one. In the dark, hiding in the night, creeping there, watching every sign, twisting and turning, so he will not spot the stand. In the dark, hiding in the dark, creeping there, watching every sign, twisting and turning, so he will not spot the stand. some movement there. I'll give you a hint in just a minute. In the dark, hiding in the night, creeping there, watching every sign, twisting and turning, so he will not spot the stand. In the dark, hiding in the night, creeping there, watching every sign, twisting and turning, so he will not spot the stand. piece. Nice work. Okay, let's go back to our word wall up in our classroom. What we're going to do is we're going to use our word wall to help us come up with some movements for that new section. We're going to call it the B section. The first part of the song, the beginning part, and the end part of the song, do we move locomotor? traveling, or non-locomotor, -locom not traveling or in place. Which one? Yeah, that beginning movement and ending movement part is locomotor. We travel around the room. So let's stick to non-locomotor movements in that new section. The non-locomotor words on our word wall are what color? That's right, they're green. So let's crop to just those words. Okay, I want you to pick two words, two non-locomotor words from the word wall that you like. If you don't like any that are on the word wall, you could come up with your own non-locomotor words too. That's fine. Which two words did you pick? I picked stretch and melt. So I'm going to 
gonna show you how I use stretch and melt in that new section. If you wanna try your two words while I'm trying, go ahead. If you wanna just watch, that's fine too. Let's try it again. Remember, if you tried something and you didn't like it, what should you do? Yeah, try something different, of course. All right, here we go. We're gonna practice our movement with our two non-locomotor words. In three, two, one, click. put it all together from beginning to end. If you're not ready yet and you need to practice again, what should you do? Yeah, rewind the video. Actually, I think it'd be this way. I don't know. Rewind the video and practice again. That's what's awesome about a video. If you're ready to try it with your new motions, try it with me. Here we go. Okay, from beginning to end. Remember, we start with the song we know, the A section, so our locomotor motion, and then again, locomotor motion, then our new part with our non-locomotor motion, and lastly, our locomotor motion. Let's try it. I can't wait. We're going in three, two, one, take my sweater off there Whew, and catch my breath a minute okay nice work my friends we took a new song and added it with an old song and made a whole long movement piece we've got singing we've got locomotor movement we've got non locomotor movement nice work that's amazing take your hand go like this go like this I go like this. Nice job. All right. If you can make a video of your new movement piece and send it to me. If you can't make a video, you can just type the movement words that the non-locomotor movement words that you chose for your middle section. Either way, I hope you try it and have some fun creating new movements. I miss you, I love you, and I hope I see you soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>